Iran's southeastern Chabahar port is the only ocean port in Iran, connecting the country to the Indian Ocean. In recent years, it has caught the attention of Iran, Russia and India as a key point on the international north-south transit corridor, which links eastern Europe and Russia all the way to India and the Persian Gulf states through Iran. Every day, tens of thousands of tons of cargo are loaded and unloaded in Chabahar port to be shipped between India, Russia, China, Europe and Africa, among other regions. A significant part of the goods are traded between Russia and India. Russian goods first arrive in Iran's Caspian seaport of Bandar Anzari and then are transited through rail or land roads to reach Chabahar and then again are shipped through the Indian Ocean to India. Chabahar is active for shipping containers, oil and petrochemical products, and exporting minerals and basic goods and grains. The containers mostly come from Asian countries. Compared with last year, our capacity for loading and unloading has increased threefold. Chabahar has two fully equipped wharfs, namely Shahid Kalantari and Shahid Beheshti, with a total capacity of 8.5 million tons of goods per year. Local authorities say efforts are underway to upgrade Chabahar to a transit hub. They say they have plans to build nine new wharfs and also connect the port to the country's railway network. If all goes as planned, authorities say that the annual transit capacity of this port will surge from the existing 8.5 million tons to a whopping 50 million tons per year. The north-south corridor reduces travel time and cuts shipment expenses by a third. It would take six weeks using other routes. For years, we've closely cooperated with our governments to activate the north-south corridor. There is a good understanding between Chabahar, Bandar Anzali, as well as Lotus and Astrahan ports. The plan to build new wharfs is still on paper, but the railway project is on the verge of completion. The Chabahar Zahedan Railway is a 628 kilometer route that will literally link Chabahar to the country's railway grid. Experts say the inauguration of the 300 million euro project will drastically boost Chabahar's transit capacity. The construction of this 628-kilometer route began in 2011, but unfortunately, due to the sanctions and the infrastructure problems, the process took a long time. But now it has been prioritized by the Islamic Republic of Iran as an urgent project. 85% of the infrastructure has been completed, and it will be functional by the middle of the next Iranian year, and it will have 7.5 million tons of transit capacity. Developing Chabahar port would be a game-changer for all parties. It would act as a gateway for East Asian states to access Central Asian, Russian and European markets. And for Russia, using this strategic port and the INSTC will cut the transit path by half compared to the conventional Suez Canal route, where Russian goods are now banned in the wake of Western sanctions on Moscow. Russia is now mulling connecting its Astrakhan port to Chabahar to transport its goods to India. The three nations have been investing in the development of the port to make this happen. Bound by the Western sanctions, Iran and Russia are determined to build on the infrastructure of the North-South Corridor, which if launched will provide a viable new trade channel that is both fast and unsanctionable. And Chabahar port is a vital piece in this new historic trade map. Yusuf Jalani, RT, Chabahar.